I find, so I open my dishwasher to take the dishes out. They've run through the cycle. And in there, in the dishwasher, on a fork, if you will, is the tiniest little caterpillar. It was so cute. Lime green, about about yay big. I'm going to, like, this big, about an inch. I get him out, and I say, are you okay? I check his <laughs> vitals. He's yeah. good. He's yeah. fine. I have a little jar and for my knickknacks, and I put him in there with a stick and some kale. And I say, what am I going to do with you? Uh-huh. Um, and like one thing led to another. And now it's me and Wormy against yeah. the world. And so I have Wormy. And suddenly Wormy starts to get <laughs> kind of lethargic. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. Can I do? Can you do CPR uh-huh. to Wormy? And I go to, I'm like, okay, I think he might be on his way out. I, right. put him, I put him at the window and I leave the lid open in case he just wants to get some fresh air for the right. day. Wormy starts to... Build a chrysalis. Yes. Is it, that's what, yes, she did. She or he, depending mm-hmm. on. And uh, sh- th- they started to spin kind of in this circle yeah. and build out a cocoon. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, Wormy is Pokemoning on, uh-huh. sh- right in front of my eyes. Evolving. Po- evolving. Yeah. There's a science word for that. They started to become something completely <laughs> different in front of my eyes. And I look it up. Wormy ended up in the trash can that day, in the jar, lit on. Can you paint a picture of what? Just the most freaking t- scariest thing I've ever seen, straight up out of like a horror movie. And the fact that I had this beast living in my house, this creature of the night, literally like birth from Satan's cooch. <laughs> I was like, you're not living another day. Not in, not if I have anything to say about it. Sorry if that changes anyone's view of me. So you're publicly admitting to killing Wormy. I had to kill Wormy. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my God. No. 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 I can't even look at what Wormy became. <laughs> no. I can't. Ugh. Really quick, I am going to have a, a wee bit of a heat stroke in this sweater. I just wanted to make a formal announcement to everyone that sweater weather is back in L.A., kind of. It's 60 degrees, um, which means I'm wearing a Brooke original knit that I wanted to show you all. Here it is. And then, can you hold this for me? Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. So here is the kind of the front, the front piece. Ew. The front piece is kind of just like gorgeous like that. And then and on the back, it says uh, my tummy hurts. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but I'm kind of over that saying because I thought it was really funny. When you change I, it to stomach. When I, I wanted to, it doesn't fit. Mm, you could put a patch over it. No, that's not how knitting works. Um, but anyway, then everyone started saying my tummy hurts. And then I thought it was not funny anymore because um, it, it just kind of happens that way so wanted to show you guys that really quick before I take it off and kind of working on another piece right here uh, almost done just a few rows left and if we have time maybe I'll kind of put a few stitches in it but kind of might hold that hold off on doing that until the bonus so I can give you my full attention it's your god-given right yeah. to do that yeah okay taking this off okay so I'll go ahead and intro us okay. I'll double mic it for the intro can I do this I've never done this. I don't know if it's legal or like messing anything up. Hey guys, welcome back to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. Um, we're so excited to be back. It's episode. I don't. Know, we're all we're we're quickly approaching fifty. No. Yeah, we are. It's forty something. I know. We're quickly approaching fifty. So like forty is. If you were counting up, where it's pretty close to fifty, in comparison to like okay. numbers before. Okay. <laughs> and we um, are so excited to be here. The weather is cold, as Brooke mentioned. I don't have any direction for this, but so I'm going to hand the mic back. Thank you. Yeah, but we're just, I think we have a really fun show. Yeah. We kind of, this is this will be a less structured show because we just really? are here. Yeah. Why? Do you- because I just, we have been out of office for mm-hmm. like a week now. Mm-hmm. So we have you got a lot away. of, we got a lot of catch up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, do you want me to give you a present that I got for you to? You got me loop, another present. Yeah, I would love to just lube me. Okay. Directly upwards. I can, I can lube you upwards. 
But um, okay. So precursor, it's not what it was supposed to be like at all. Great. So I ordered you a bumper sticker that I saw from a targeted Instagram ad. Right. However, it's the size of my pinky finger. Well, it could. That's okay. Um, oh my so, God, is it going to be? What? Nothing. What do you think? I just think it's, is it going to be a triathlon? No. 13.1. Thir- no. So I got you, this one, this was supposed to be full sized. It says MILF. MILF. Man, I love frogs. Why is it so small? I don't know. I ordered a bumper sticker. That's a bumper sticker for a, a Kia yeah, Soul. Yeah, but you could put it on your phone. Okay. Yeah. Or your yeah, computer or whatever you I want. I love that. Thanks, Con. And then this was kind of the bonus that I threw in to get free shipping. Oh. Hon- honk if you love frogs. <laughs> <laughs> and you have 2020 vision yeah. from back then. <laughs> yeah. Honk if you've hit, so, if you've, if you've rear-ended me and also love frogs. So these are completely, it's completely up to you where you want to put them. Oh, I love it. I love them. Yeah. Thank oh you. my God. Of course, honey. It's really special. I do love yeah, frogs. Yeah, I know. Me too. So the, the man I love frogs says it's MILF. It just says MILF really yeah. big. Which is true. It, yes. Which is also That's what true. MILF originally stood for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this this is the kind of frog that I had. Really? The fat one. I want a tree frog, I think. <sighs> yeah. Um, it's just but such I a, want it's to a, cuddle with something. Yeah. No. And that's that's where you're going to lose it. That's why I want that massive CGI frog that I sent you. Because it's like you could cuddle with it. Yeah. Of all the animals that I've had, which we've talked about this yeah. before, there is the point of animals where you think that you're going to Nigel Thornberry it. Yeah. And like you're gonna be able to break. Th- or what is the one that talked to them? Not Angelica. Very. No, he didn't talk. He just had a big nose. Dill. <laughs> Pickle. No. Oh fuck. The woman, the little girl, Sarah. Eliza. Eliza. Um, Eliza could talk to them, and like yeah. I always feel like when I'm in a closed environment with an animal, I'm like, it's just us now. Yeah. You're safe here. Like. Yeah. I'm not. I don't. I'm, I won't tell. I'm not anyone. gonna. Who am I gonna turn you no. into? The cops. I used to feel no, that way about I'm my cool stuffed animals. It. I'm cool with whatever you want to do. So just talk, yeah. tell me, yeah. tell me what right, you know. tell me. As if they haven't, whatever this animal is, isn't going to be like, like what, they're going to be a brilliant mastermind. No. They don't know anything. You know, it'd be like, it's cold out today. I'd be like, it is. Thank you for I'm letting me know. still waiting for my stuffed animal. You know, hodgepodge, of course. Yeah. What I sleep with every night. I'm still waiting for him to say his first words. I've been waiting for 24 years. Yeah. For him to open his, his goddamn mouth, but... He's a stubborn one, that hodgepodge. Stupid bitch. I kind of want to get a tattoo of him. Yeah, that'd be cool. But now everyone's kind of doing that as well. Oh, are they? Like getting their stuffed animal. Hmm. But I want a frog, like in the style. By the way, I always see comments that's like Brooke's birthmark is shaped like Yoda. (laughs) It's a tattoo of a bee that I got before I decided I hated bees. But now it serves as a reminder that I'm a survivor of my bee sting. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have this butterfly. Which is stupid, Bug but girl. I want a frog in the, in that style. If you want to get it with me, there's Ooh. no so there's no style of a frog. I've looked into it. There's no style of a frog that I could get that I can appreciate. I like that kind of really? more simple. Yeah, I don't I don't want an intricate. And there's no way you could do a frog that oh. isn't detailed. Do you mind if I send you a few examples? Yeah, sure, go for it. Okay. I also have a really good tattoo person that would do a great frog. Okay. And I'm pretty sure he had some frogs on his. And if, if I found a good design, you would get it with me. Yeah? Well, that's not, that's not jumping. To Why? It. Yeah, see, like. No, but that's not kind of no. what, that's not what I'm talking about. No. Oh, you don't want to get a matching frog with no, me? So, uh, no, I just don't want to get a, I don't think I want to get a frog on me. Okay. You want to go with me, though? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it for you. I'll do the tattoo. No, 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 that's not what I'm asking. Okay, well, um, I just took it one step too far, yeah. I guess. No, that's completely fine. <clears throat> okay, um, well. Well, why did we, how did we get there? I was giving you a present to lube you up. Oh, I'm, I'm lubed up. Are you? How are you feeling? I think I'm. I think I'm ready. Okay. There's a level of mystery and fear of the unknown that I have for today because I don't know where we're gonna go. Well, do you mind if I ask? I haven't seen you in two weeks. Yeah. You've been away. Yeah. How was that? Um, it was good. I had another wedding. I went to Boston Damn. actually. I forgot. Oh my I god! Went to Boston. Feels like that was a long ago. time ago. I was so jealous seeing that foliage. Oh via your man! Images. One thing about leaves. They're gonna change colors in the Northeast. We we all we all hmm, no we all stay the same. Leaves just Do keep on though? changing. No, that's why I kind of. But if you right. say anything confidently enough, like you can just keep flowing. Okay. The um, they just kind of do their thing. 
you know, and then they fall and then it's on to the next. Yeah. I really have been like, I never, ever thought I'd have a qualm about L.A. weather. But this fall, I've really just been struggling with the lack of seasons. Sure. <clears throat> that's why I went. That's why I took a six yeah. hour flight was to see a tree, a couple trees. Yeah. And it was worth it. I should have done it. Um, you know, cause, and then like I get back here and it's raining all, so it's just crappy out. And it's funny because you never think you have seasonal depression until the sun comes out and you're like, I'm on, I'm on meth rave drugs. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like Molly. Yeah. Like I could, I'm listening to the black eyed peas, like bopping my head around. like, yeah and it's like why am i in such a good mood oh because the sun's out right and then like you know it starts raining and i'm like should i kill myself no but it's all it's perspective yeah that's not exactly the right word relative it's all relative because subjective no i'm gonna stick with relative person or objective no i'm gonna stick with relative okay because it's raining today yeah and because it never rains i'm euphoric whereas i wouldn't be euphoric if the sun came out so it's mm-hmm. all relative yeah. to where you are and what your seasons are like in the place that you are living. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. You the, I will it. say one thing about like if you know not if you don't live in LA you don't get this at all. Hmm, what was I going to say? <laughs> if you don't live in LA you don't get this at all. Like I don't know what I was going to say. Okay. Oh, yes I do. There's no point living in LA when it's when it's crappy for the next 2 months. And we get I I think I posted. You, you mean the only purpose of LA is the weather? Yeah. So when it's like about to rain for two months, it, that's never the case. Though it is. I posted about it. Sorry. <laughs> There's someone. Someone let me know that I burp constantly. It's because I love sparkling water. Yeah. I love liquid death. I hate bubbles. I'm loving bubbles. Yeah. I got a soda stream. Ah, I got a soda stream. We're getting off track. Okay, so what the do you weather, mean you got a soda stream? Okay, I'll t- uh, I want to get to that. So the weather, when it's like crappy for two months, so I posted about it, and someone was like, did you shave some of your eyebrows? Remember that video? And I, and I was like, no, eyebrows, whatever. Also, I'm getting fat, and I'm kind of depressed. And it was because of the weather. Mm. Like, it's just the weather's been weird. Oh. I think my eyebrows kind of fall off like- Like fall, the trees. Like fall foliage in the winter. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. <clears throat> but we do, so I was like, oh, like it's going to start getting cloudy and gloomy here. And- then I realized that, like, no, that's June, because June gloom. And then it happened in July this year for, like, half the month, and it was no sky July. I don't remember that at all. Everyone was DMing me, like, yeah, it's June gloom. And I was like, okay, I can't wait for July, July. And I was like, this is bullshit. I'm going to write a letter to my senator, because where's it? we just did June gloom, and they're like, no, there's no sky July now, because the sun doesn't come out. No, I I don't remember that. I would have been thrilled if there was rain here. It, well, there isn't rain. That's what it's I'm saying. Gloom. It's just gloomy. I don't recall. At least rain. That was really oh, nice. Gloomy and hot. Yeah. Thanks. Well, not even hot, just like sticky and wet. That was what was nice. So, okay, so I went to Boston, went to a Patriots game. We lost pretty bad. Um, when you say we, the Patriots, you identify yeah. with that team. Yeah. Okay. If I'm there, mm-hmm. huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm one of the boys. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. And I did make my way out on, onto the field after the game. Yeah. Um, How'd you get clearance? Don't know. I was pretty, like I had a couple beers. Uh-huh. I did this thing where like I was sitting with my mom and my sister and my cousin and uh, the rest of the group that we went with and <clears throat> we're like sitting there and I was like buying some beers and then I met these guys next to me and they were having so much fun <laughs> and so I'm drinking these beers and then I realized... Um, they're 8% alcohol and they're like stadium sized beers. So that kind of, wow. that's why I identify as part of the team. Cause I kind of was fighting uh, my own battle mm-hmm. upstairs. Okay. You know? Got it. Totally. But I did Fair make it out trauma. onto the field. I took some photos. So when the Patriots do win at home, I got something to post. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, I did post it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that was a journey. Flew back to Texas cause I had that wedding right. on, on Friday. Um, went to that wedding. It's That's, insane how many people you know that are getting married. <coughs> you, I'm not going through the same experience as you. So I have one. Thank God, I by ha- the way. I have one on on in, on in November 5th in Austin that I told them, guys, I'm so sorry. I can't, I can't do another mm-hmm. flight to Texas and back this month, like if within 30 days. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened. I was trying to get to the bottom of why I have so many weddings coming up. By the way, I got two more save the dates at my house. I know. This week. Wow. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Green Chef. 
Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company. Green Chef makes eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle. Whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals, Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh, and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands, and now my listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount with me. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well, with dinners that work for you, not the other way around. Green Chef is offering more customization than ever before, in addition to swapping protein in any meal that features chicken, beef, or salmon for USDA-certified organic ground beef, USDA-certified organic chicken, and wild-caught sockeye salmon. Now, you can also add chicken or fish to select vegan and veggie recipes each week for an added protein boost. It's my favorite thing to do, added protein is order boost. like a vegan sandwich or salad and be like, can I add chicken to that? Because mm-hmm. vegans get all the, the good veg yeah, that's options. A good, yeah, that's then you just throw some chicken on there, yeah. and now it's normal. <laughs> good. I'm sorry. No, it's good for... Anyway. Mm-hmm. Green Chef's pre-made and pre-measured sauces, dressings, and spices get you more chef-curated flavor in less time. Didn't you recently... You made something the other day. What was that? Shrimp tacos. Oh. Spicy, comma spicy. Incredible. Were they spicy? <laughs> was it crispy? Pineapple salsa was, in addition, right. on top right. of the spicy shrimp tacos. Mm. And not only was it delicious, it was also so easy to put together. It only took about 25 minutes from start to finish. That's almost no minutes. It's almost. Compared to more minutes than that would Uh be. This holiday season, choose Green Chef for premium balanced recipes that support your wellness goals and taste good too. Go to greenchef.com slash BNC599 and use code BANDC599 to get $5.99 per meal. Dollars. Sorry, does that make sense to you guys? On your first box, and your first box ships for free. That's greenchef.com slash B-A-N-D-C-599 and use code B and C-599 to get $5.99 per meal on your first box and your first box ships for free. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. $5.99. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Sorry. <laughs> the dollar sign. I was, how do I say this? How many people, is it all high school people or these, some college? These are, the two I went to last week, last month were high school. The next one, this one this week is high school. The two that I got, one of them was college and then one of them was high school. But I was like trying to get to the bottom of why everyone's getting married. And I, don't know, I was thinking about it. The one common denominator. Texas? They're all from Texas. Yeah. Because the first person from my high school that I know just got engaged. Where did they go to college? Uh, Miami. Oh, that's not in Texas. No, so that kinda... I don't think anybody went to school in Texas from probably not. High I don't... School. Um, but it, it was fascinating because there's this there's this phenomenon called ring by spring mm-hmm. that's out there, and I'm not shitting on anybody. Congratulations for finding love. Jealous, but they are married and uh, etc. Yeah, and I'm like, you know, I'm at the wedding. I was in like this is the one by the way, um, one of the people that was like working the event, the planner and like the person that was keeping it all together came out to me and was like, "Is this the wedding that you force yourself into?" <laughs> I was like, "So she's a listener." Wow, that's she, amazing. So you're saying you listen. My dental hygienist listens as well. So she's so. like, "I heard you were pretty nervous." Mm-hmm. And you're like, ah, yeah, yeah. "Thank you." <laughs> uh, I wash my hands in the. Yeah. Did, did you the, smell them? No. You can smell if you get a little. Oh yeah, that's yeah. soapy. They're, they're, Thank I, you for that, by the way. My hand. Oh, I you can't. Can always I, trust me. I no, I'm gonna get canceled again. You never wash your hands. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that in a public public restroom, sometimes I feel like it's more disgusting to, to wash my hands and touch the sink than to not, because in the bathroom I'm not touching anything besides the toilet paper. But if I were to move forward with washing my hands, I'd be touching the sink, which everybody's touching with their gross, disgusting, post pee pee poo poo hands. And I don't want to be a part of that. So do I wash my hands at home where I know it's safe? Bring some hand sanitizer. Of course. You had some hand Do I use hand sanitizer? Sometimes. Yeah. Brooke and I went to lunch like last week. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, two, yeah, a week I and a half ago. I hand sanitizer. And this woman just walks in with a dog that's a little crusty white Bella dog. Wait, what? What do they call those dogs? 
Like what are the what is the name? The name is also always like Bella. Oh, I I think you're right. Yeah, and this dog comes up to me. He's like <laughs> crusty white eyes. I'm like, hey, hey, how you doing? Yeah. And like it was everyone in line is looking at me, and this dog is just at my shin level looking at me. I gotta pet this fucking thing. I'm like petting it. My fingers got like stuck to the, all that thing, and I'm like at lunch. And I it walked away. Through, by the way, it walked like just through the rest of the line. The woman's like looking at her phone, doesn't give it. Yeah, woman, I couldn't tell if she was homeless or not. I think she paid for her meal and she was had a phone. I think she was. Anyways, I made the de- executive decision to smell my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I offered you hand sanitizer, which I carry around because I use it. The smell, so, the smell that I smell. Yeah, you don't even you don't have to get into it. It was like. No, don't, don't, don't. It was like if you. I hate hearing ugh, bad it's like if you described. left. If you left. Yeah, I believe your it. lunch. Yeah, I believe a, it was in bad. a lunchbox, and you forgot that yeah. you had made a lunch, yes. and you find it like a week later. Okay. And you open your lunchbox, you're like, I'm gonna throw the Tupperware away. Yeah. There's no saving this. That was what my hand smelled like. Okay. Anyway, so I'm at this wedding. She, this lady listens, whatever, <clears throat> and I'm like, it, I had so much fun. It was good to like seeing all my best friends from high school and, um. Everyone was married though, like every single person in are like engaged, and I was like, okay. So I told you I'd like need to get a therapist, yeah. a new therapist, like ASAP, so I can be like, what am I feeling? Because I'm excited for them, right? Uh, there's no bitterness in my heart, except for the fact that they're like, we're not going to go out after the wedding because it's 11 p.m. on a Friday. I'm like, why? Everybody moves at different paces. Yeah. Yeah. And I bet that those people, some of those people who are settling down, getting married, are also looking at you in the same way that you're looking at them, being like, Ross is always greener. Yeah. Like, is this not, like, would I have been happier if I chose Connor's path? Yeah. The wedding, by the way, was gorgeous and so well done. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, guys. And it was really, I had a lot of fun. I did my drop down low and put my feet out thing. That's, oh, yeah. I love yeah, how you do that. I was just like, oh, no. I'm like overcompensating, not being like moving forward mm-hmm. with like with being married backwards. and children by being a degenerate uh-huh. at this wedding which uh-huh. like it was one of those where i'm like next day i was like i talked to everyone and i talked way too much going up to my friend i haven't seen since high school hey didn't your parents get divorced how's that you were just making conversation yeah i was trying to, yeah. but overcompensating mm-hmm. but like and they're like yeah like shut up yeah I, I'm sure that a lot of those people are looking at you in the same way you're looking at them. And that's what your therapist would probably tell you. Nice. If I had to guess. Um. Anyways, that was a fun wedding. Uh, I went out. I did end up going out Friday. Oh, yeah, of after course. After the wedding with like a group of people. It was really fun. But um, it was Halloween week and I was supposed to leave at 10 a.m. the next day to come back to L.A. My hangover kicked in at about 930 in the morning. I canceled my flight. Mm-hmm. Sat on my parents' couch all day Saturday into the night. Went to sleep. Woke up Sunday. Canceled my flight again. (laughs) (laughs) Said, I'm still hungover. I literally, because I know myself. If I go and get on a plane and you're sitting there and the only thought, you're stuck there with your thoughts, the only thing you can think is, you're not hungover. No, you're not going to get hungover. Oh, crap. I feel it coming on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw up. 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 You keep thinking that. You make your, you just, you build your own reality. Mm -hmm. So a Halloween weekend was spent on my parents' couch. Did you have plans here? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. It's totally but it was it's totally fine because so overrated. I'm telling you. I just have never Well, let's talk about Halloween in a second. It let's, was just so overrated. I've just always I, in Yeah. My, the the holidays, the holidays that are like uh let me list them off. Like the Halloweens, New Year's, New Year's, 4th of 4th July. Of July. Both Memorial and Labor Day. Where there's an expectation to have, have fun. Plans, you don't. Have funs. Fun. I'll tell you what. Sitting on the couch, looking at everybody, I was like, by the way, let people enjoy things. But I was just like, I'm kind of getting cringed a little bit. Icked. Yeah, like everyone doing their Halloween costume with like what they dressed up as as the second slide of the carousel. I was like, no. I oh, got, I did that. I un- you had to. You had to. I'm talking about like the like uh the Scooby Doo thing where it's like, yeah, I know you're uh-huh. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. 
But you're saying was, I had to because my costume wasn't were good, en- good enough to. No, that was a creative niche reference. Okay. And here's what I well, well, we can talk about Halloween costume in a second. I think the niche ones you have to, and then you can be like, oh, that's good, mm-hmm. you know. And yours were simple. I'm talking about the people that like, thank, went all out and you? then put question mark <laughs> i'm not gonna dig myself a hole i liked yours like Dang. fran and annie that's so you and then also your the caption was like cosplay is my favorite jewish actors perfect also being literally i'm not an ally if i am jewish so what am i a pioneer no you're a warrior yeah yeah i would yeah. say yeah i was just f- fighting fighting the good fight you were fighting the good fight and weekend. also two great shows and yeah you love, thank it you just like couldn't have been more on par no, right? thank you Connor. but I don't know, and also, again, let people enjoy things. Mm-hmm. Talk talk about grass is greener on the other side. I was pretty, I think I was having FOMO, so it was portraying itself as how embarrassing uh-huh, it everybody. But uh-huh. I, Here's the thing. Go out one time. I don't need the whole week of my feed being day one of Halloween weekend, day two of Halloween weekend, day three of Halloween weekend. Maybe you should just delete your Instagram you, then if I it's going to rub no, you I this. Should. Here's a question I had, though. If we didn't have phones, do you think people would still dress up and do Halloween? Uh, it's a good question because this Halloween especially was like I've never seen anybody take it this seriously. I think Halloween would still happen if we didn't have phones. If a tree falls in the woods not th- this and there's no one around to hear it. Not this it, intensely for adults. Does it make a noise? I don't think we would be. I don't know if it's because of TikTok. Like everyone was posting their Halloween costumes on TikTok as well. Yeah. I think it's because people had the opportunity to go viral this year. I guess they did last year as well with TikTok, but like maybe this year even more so that people were obsessed with dressing up because it's like, oh, I have the opportunity to actually get likes on this costume. Wow. And more views. I think I cracked the code, by the way. Yeah. I love when I do that. That I love when I crack the code. I mean... What better feeling? I'm coming off as a huge hater. I didn't dress up, so I'm, I might be kind of just projecting. But I was like, there's no reason Halloween needs to be five days. Like, we all have... I'm looking at adults, like, mm-hmm. on day five of dressing up. I'm like, okay. It's yeah. fun. It's a fun thing to do, and it's different. It's fun. You're, I think you are just, being, just a being a hater. Yeah, I really do. Okay, well, Sorry. I just got unhungover from going out one day last week, mm-hmm. and that was last night at like ten. I was like, "Oh my god!" I thought I was stuck like that. Maybe you can I offer the like? Maybe you were sick. Yeah, maybe. Because I feel like every time you're like actually sick, you're like, "Damn, I'm hungover." For four, and days. it's like six days after you had a drink. Yeah. So could be just that. Some, an, an idea. It could offer. be that. Uh, yeah, because I didn't like. To like die on Friday right. or anything. It was pretty normal. Mm-hmm. But my, my was just like my parents were looking over my body as if they were at my viewing at my funeral. Because you were hey, laying you so kinda, low. Do you kind of want to like get up? And I was like, no, I don't. I don't think I will uh-huh. be doing that. Because it was like Saturday. And they're like, don't, aren't your friends around here somewhere? I was like, no. <laughs> you're growing. Yeah. You're growing a sore on your Bed sore. Bed sore on your Ouch ass sore. cheek. Yeah. Hey guys, want to take another quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more, <laughs> honestly. Don't mind me kind of just scrolling through the app right now. What's going on on the app? Oh, well, I'm just scrolling. Basically, what you can see here is that Harry Styles. It's kind of it's just, a- available. One for. thing about me is Harry Styles. One thing about me, HS. And guess what? What? It's all on last week. Shut up. Guess where I got my ticket? <laughs> just don't even don't say it. But... Oh. I was able oh. to easily and confidently Shut up, buy really? tickets knowing I was getting a good deal. Yeah, via Seeky. Women in tech. With artists like Billie Eilish, Post Malone, Jack Harlow, and Luke Combs on tour, you're not going to want to miss out. I got to see Luke Combs on tour. I'll go to Harry Styles. That's for well, you're damn there. sure. Ooh. They always want to make sure that you are getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good. Red means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of, of the event with swaps. And you know we came through for you guys. Use our code BANDC for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code BANDC. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Um, no, but that was 
I don't know. Do you have any Just thoughts? Being a hater. Yeah. I mean, you had fun. I had fun. Yeah. Um, if other people are having fun, and it's not hurting anyone else, like, no, no harm, no foul. I will say the only Halloween costume that there are two Halloween costumes that uh, did uh, give me the kind of reaction that you're having. Yeah. Was the Scooby Doo? I guess I don't know if people knew that everyone like why did why was everyone Scooby Doo? I have no idea. I guess it's no one's fault for dressing up as Scooby Doo because who were they to know that everybody else was going to be? It's an easy Scooby Doo in the gang. It's an easy group costume. But I must have seen upwards of sixteen thousand Velmas. I know. Well, that's just because all you have to do is put on an orange shirt. Right, it's easy and and identifiable. Right, because no one wants to. (laughs) It sucks when somebody asks you what you are. That's what I was experiencing all weekend. Yeah. I literally just had pictures of, I was Fran, the nanny, and Schmidt from the thing is, I literally just had pictures. You of, dressed up, check. You got your Instagram photo, check. And you were like, you didn't have to like paint your whole body, check. Mm-hmm. So like you could go home at the end and be like, I'm done. My Schmidt costume was so amazing because I was wearing pajamas under it. Yeah. And I just had like a robe kimono on. And it was just like so cozy. And uh, I was wearing Birkenstock. You know what? To, to absolutely nullify my earlier statement when someone doesn't dress up loser yeah. bigger loser yeah. than people that do dress up yeah party pooper i wish i had a better you're argu- not better than me i wish i had a, a better argument for my p- previous one and i think i did but i can't remember what it was okay but like i'm not this is not again like about anyone specifically by the way i'm talking specifically about the people who dressed up as scooby-doo yeah <laughs> um something i did learn this- i get it's really not their fault though it's just like it was just the fact that it, everyone did it all at once. Yeah. And then Heidi Klum yeah. as a worm. My thoughts there are, I think, first of all, it's like, it, it, it really, it's not appealing to look at, which I guess a lot of Halloween costumes are not. <laughs> and that's the point, like to make you kind of uncomfortable. How'd they make her look wet? They she's like there's a sl- like she looks like an organ. Someone said that it looks like she got uh, Ed Sheeran's people to like makeup artists to make her look constantly kind of wet. I love Ed, so really can't tolerate any Ed S slander here. Um, but here's my thing about Heidi Klum and people who are like models and perceived as very conventionally gorgeous. I think there's this like movement. For e- that everyone wants to seem relatable nowadays. And I think that's what she was trying to do here to be like, look, I'm also funny. I'm not just hot, but th- there's an overcorrection happening. Like you can show me you're relatable, in a- but you don't have to dress up as some slimy like thing that I- that's really hard for me to look at. I got to just absolutely disagree. With really? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Let me see what I had written about this so I don't lose my thought process. Fuck you guys. <laughs> That's what I have written about Heidi Klum. Um, no, first of all, I get what you're saying. Do you? Where it's like, yeah. Like, I I, I, I prefer funny costume over, uh-huh. like, sexy, cool-looking costume any day. I think that's hilarious. Heidi Klum's been doing this for a long time. Oh, really? Yeah, she's been the doing this entire big, because she has a big Halloween party every year. I think this is at her Halloween party. Can I? Can we pull up some of her previous costumes? Yeah, she was Fiona I, from Shrek last year, like big, like big prosthetic face and like. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, so I see. Basically, oh, she she got her? slammed because people are like, "Why are like you're gross? Like why are you?" She is whatever age she is. I'm gonna I'm gonna see. She's done these. All look like sexy costumes to me that she's done before. That's in 2009. So Heidi Klum is 49 years old, still getting that dressed up, yeah. lying down, putting a worm on. Her intention was not to be like, I don't think she had anything bigger than like, I just want to be funny. I got to, uh, to over top yeah. the next thing. I want whatever meds she's on where she's seeing all this press about her being gross and like, this is when she starts being funny and she's still like smiling and happy. Mm-hmm. There could be a language barrier. I didn't know that she's she, from somewhere, but. She, Connor, she's full, she fully speaks English. I know, but maybe she doesn't get the like what would the things that we're saying. Like, <laughs> ew, gross, this sucks. But I, I disagree. I think she's having so much fun and yeah. I think it's admirable. Okay. I just like don't like Halloween costumes that are hard. Those to, are her to clones from twenty sixteen. Yeah. She got a bunch of look alikes to or maybe that's prosthetics. Which one is she? I don't know. 
But I'm just like, it, it, huh. to me, I was just like, ew. Oh, can but also is she allowed to do the Hindu goddess? That was brave. Um, I'm imagining she would not be allowed to do that today. Well, I guess let's see. Yeah, 2018 was a different time. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> Alien, she starts, oh, 2008. Okay, that's making more sense. Um, two, yeah, that's. Oh, Alien, yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's quirky gross. and that's, gross. That's, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe my take was wrong. I guess I just don't like gross Halloween costumes at the end of the day. No, I don't think there's a right or wrong take. I just said I like that she's she goes all out. This is her yeah. Halloween party. and she, Yeah, I'm just like, just because you can doesn't mean you should with just like look like looking yucky okay but i just don't like you talked about subjectivity that's yeah on, that's that's a perspective thing that you're taking okay well i'm just saying me, my I'm, opinion is to that me she looks like a delicious street meat that's about to be shaved off onto a euro oh like it really is hard for me to look at it yeah yeah that's just my take that's okay you're allowed to have your take yeah. i want to tackle her and squish her okay and I encourage you to. And I'm. I think that this is cool. I think that this is cool, because it's different. There's a bunch of probably mm-hmm. cats, leopards running around. Yeah. There's a bunch of like dudes dressed up as grease running around, and she's a worm. Right. She's not living by society's standards of what she should and shan't do right. as a worm. Because right. you know what? After all, Brooke. You know what? After all. Uh huh. What? It's a bug's life. That's true. I want to take my take back because, I think. I fear that I would have critiqued her either way, and that's me checking my internalized misogyny. And so I'm checking myself before I wreck myself. And even though I don't like the worm, because it's disgusting. You just have a, you don't like worms. No, or people dressed as worms. You don't like. But I'm just going to go ahead you, with, I don't like. Instead of checking your internal uh-huh. misogyny, that internal misogynistic voice that's screaming in your head. Yeah. You should, in, you should check on your internal Worm, worm bias. Worm bias. Yeah, you're maybe obviously it's bad. I think worms. it's an intersectionality issue of worm prejudice and misogyny is yeah. what we're experiencing. I think here. that this particular situation pretty cool. Okay. I like people going. I like people giving it their all. Yeah, and I can respect that. Yeah. And and I'm actually going to change my mind. And even though I don't like the costume, wow. Normally she's changing, changing your, mind. your mind. Even though I don't like the costume and I think it's disgusting. Good for her. Good for her. Good for her. Cuz yeah. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Hell yes. Okay. Um there's something else. Oh, while you were at the wedding. Yeah. And in Boston, etc. away. I don't know where you were when I did this, but I went to the Harry Styles concert. Yeah. Yeah. And I did, did want to to speak about that. Yeah. Because um it was an incredible night. Okay. And I do have an entire notes app specifically for the concert. Wait, I have a question that I wrote while now. you're while you're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> is he just They have to How has he done like a thousand concerts in like 5 days? Well, he's doing a residency I feel, here. Okay, cuz I feel like he's played a show every day. He does. For as long like I can't remember a time for me there's a there's a B H S C before, Before Harry Styles, Styles concert. concert, and now there's like we're in this midst of I don't remember a time when he wasn't playing a show every right. night. I feel like every night someone's like, I saw Harry Styles, and I'm like, is he just like a Chuck E. Cheese robot person now? Because how did how is he just well, like he was, constantly like he he, was, they just yeah. roll him out and he starts showing his flare jeans and yeah, and basically waving. He was the doing flag. a residency in New York for like a month, MSG, and now he's here for a month, God or like how, three weeks or something, three weeks or something. And he's up there shaking his ass every yeah. single night. And it is, Connor, if you saw this concert yeah, and said to me, eh, I still don't really get it. I don't get the big deal about him. I would encourage you to seek medical help. And I respect people with different opinions. Yeah. Of course, this, it's not really a matter of opinion here. Hey. This man is, and I have the to real down, he is a rock star, period. Yeah. Like, it even if you're not obsessed with his voice, just like seeing him on stage, ro- he owns, uh, commands. cock out? Yeah, yeah, to set, to put it bluntly. I think eventually he will have his, his cock and balls out. Do you? Yeah. You he, know there was a supposed nude of him when he was on X Factor. Great. Yeah, I can. I think he was a child. Yeah, then, yeah, so no one look at that. That's not. But 
when I was yeah. young, when yeah. I was seven, 16 or right. 15, that was going around. But it's unclear if it's him because his face was covered. Mm. Yeah. Well, we can all we can all move forward okay. since he was a child. So was I. Okay. We we can we can um, cut that. <laughs> no, we we shan't. Wait, I have a I have something that I was gonna say. Oh, you know how you know how I'm always talking about how I would. I love this last name, by the way. Sorry to Styles Fuentes. Oh, um, Fuentes. Who, who is that? I don't know. Johanna Fuentes. Oh, oh, oh. She tweeted that. Um, you know, I always say like I think that I could probably pretty easily be convinced to join a cult. Yeah. I don't. I'm not really following the Harry Styles I, fandom. I I know, and I want and to. Like, I, and this is one where I'm willing to kind of lean into it, but like, I'm just like, ah, it's just not. It's kind of like a a chilled glass of milk for me at this point. Uh, it it doesn't taste horrible, but I'm not into it. Yeah, I hear you, and I'm saying that if you were still saying these things after you experienced this concert, sure. I would again encourage you to seek not only medical but psychological sure. help i did like he hasn't done this in a long time but whatever concert it was when he did the uh collab not collab he did the duet with lizzo Li stevie nicks i almost said Li lizzo nicks um stevie nicks yeah when they sing landslide yeah. together Incredible. that was pretty sexy yeah of both of them yeah so but that's the the last uh that's all she wrote for okay. me that was the last memorable thing that i well i hope one day you'll have the foresight yeah if it is was that the right bit, word if it wasn't like such a hassle to go see him here because right I, what i'm seeing is that it's body to body some people have gone so like several times right i just like can't do the whole thing mm -hmm. i or did I manage would. to kind of weasel <coughs> myself into the pit how were you up next to the stage i, I have connections wow mm -hmm. it was very cool um but yeah i was right up next to the stage on the pit on the floor that must be nice and to be that close on account of your height yes yeah, couldn't couldn't see a couldn't darn see, yeah thing. still um yeah well, when I was up close, like body to body, I couldn't see anything be yeah. because people were directly in front of me and I'm 4'11". But when I took a step back where it was less crowded, there was a lot of open space, then I could see him. But that kind of sucked because I was like, well, he probably can't see me and fall in love with me. So, which I, I knew he would have because I was wearing my Harry Styles sweater, my Harry Styles sweater vest that I had knit with the house on it. That is... um. And I knew he would ha he would want that's, that. that. They're going to invent a technology now, like pretty soon where like... The artist should be able to see if you're feeling strongly enough that you need to engage physically with that artist. Yeah. They should be able to see you, especially if like you're ever like watching and you're like, OK, I can't get the main person to look at me, but uh -huh. I can get the bass. The drummer. Because yeah, uh -huh. like, hey. uh, no one's looking at them. You're like, look over and you're like, we're going to make a I was considering child. making a sign yeah. that said, I knit you a sweater vest. But then I really, really thought about it. And I was like, if he sees that, you're going to have to give your vest to him. And I don't know if I could part with that vest. Yeah, you could. I I know, but it's like, do I even want to, to go there? And I had made the decision, no, I don't want to go there. But if I go back, I will go there. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah. I encourage it. You should get okay. a t-shirt cannon and just shoot it at him. That was only the first part of the first bullet point. Okay. I said, they're going to be making biopics of him in 20 years. I can't believe we're living in a time where he exists. And the biopic in 20 years is going to be starring someone that's probably not even born yet. Think about oh, that. Wow, yeah. Good point. Yeah. Ooh. There could be someone named, like, Sand. Mm -hmm. That's probably what names are going to be in 20 years. Sand or... Mm -hmm. Granite electric vehicle yeah. like something like that Bay Royale Bay Royale mm -hmm. uh, Vinaigrette yeah could be Vinaigrette yeah Vinaigrette Simmons could be playing yeah. Harry Styles yeah. in 20 years who are we to say I can't I know um and then we're gonna be grandparents and I'm gonna tell my grandchild when I was your age I went to the Harry Styles concert and my granddaughter's gonna be like no you fucking didn't just the same way that I say to my grandparents I can't believe you were alive when Freddie Mercury was alive and that you went to a Freddie Mercury concert that's how my grandchildren are gonna be acting about Harry Styles mm -hmm. what an amazing thing for me to be able to tell them that's pretty cool I'm saving this is my floor wristband oh. saving that for my grandkids oh it's looking really tight how it, do you not have a panic attack cause it's you know how much it's worth at the end of the day. Ooh, Brooke, you got to cut that off. No. no oh, God, I, I, no. I was straight up. Have, you kind of feel how my fingertips are freezing cold? Yeah. It's because of this baby. 
Ooh, there's ways to loosen those, by the way. I don't know yeah. anymore because it does seem about skin tight. On yeah, your, I can't figure it out. On your wrist there. So anyway, I, I, I witnessed history. Yeah. Which is just very cool to be able to say. Very, very cool. He's going to be one of the hologram shows at Vegas residencies for sure. Yes. Yes. When he, when he, he, oh my God, poor Harry. Mm-hmm. Poor Harry. He's going to be aging like a president pretty soon because mm-hmm. he's, Jacob, God, that guy needs to be put in a cryo tank and frozen for a couple of years just so he can rest. He, he's, I can't even imagine. I can't go a day without a two hour nap. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. I don't either. I mean, he's probably not getting any sleep either. No. The adrenaline rush after each concert, which is done at 11 something, must keep him up till at least three. You know, my friend Sam Damchek? Yeah. He uh, posted on his story yesterday. I was like, I'm sorry, I have to say it. Harry Styles ruined Beachwood Cafe, which is like a little restaurant. I know. That, yeah, it's in one of his songs. Three hour wait yeah. on Tuesdays yeah. at like noon. Yeah. Which is just crazy. I bet. Which sucks. I've never been. I don't know why I said that. Sorry to put a bummer in That's the, okay. In the bullet I've got a here. few. I've got a many more bullet Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Take them. I was trying to explain the feeling of what I felt during the concert to others, and I'm, I'm having a, I was having a hard time, but there was this like overwhelming... And this is non-sexual and non-sadistic. But there was this like overwhelming need to just like osmosis absorb him. Mm -hmm. Like almost as an energy. And the way that I articulated that, I think I tweeted it, was just like I need to shrink him down and take him as a pill. Yeah. Like three times a day. Like the energy is like you you need need to be in a a womb with him. Yeah. You need to just like. Oh, to be in a womb with Harry Styles and absorb his energy. You need to be a womb mate. But I. Uh, even more so, I want to be in his womb than be his womb mate. I could see an immaculate conception situation with Harry yeah. Styles. It was just like the energy. Like, it's like, I, I need it. I need it. I need to take a shot of it. I need to absorb. You know? It was like. The idea. Yeah. Someone could market some I, Harry Styles energy in a in one of those little ginger yeah. turmeric shots. Yeah. By the way, apparently my mood app already exists. Yeah, that, that tracks. That tracks. Yeah. Um, Every single night that mm-hmm. he gets out there, and as you've already said, he gets out there a hundred nights a week. It's like his first time performing. He is so gracious. He brings the energy. Like, I, even if you were performing right here in front of us, just us two, on B and C Studios soil, it would be like he was performing for Madison Square Garden. He gives his all into I every single want performance. To do, do that in front of us. Too. Uh, you know, I think I would. I'd like a little acoustic show from Harry Styles. Oh, I want like a Madison Square Garden. Do you think Harry Styles has ever been drunk? Uh, yes. Have you never seen that picture of him throwing up on the highway because he was hungover? No, I don't there's see a, all There's these... a steak. That it's, it was from One Direction era. He threw up on the side of the h- highway and there's like a steak there. It says Harry Styles threw, threw up there. Up. And girls go and like touch it. If you, and if you threw up it. in like a cup, would you drink yes. his vomit? Yes. Good question. Yes, absolutely. I might. Actually. I would pay to. I think that's like another tiered system is like, okay, if this person threw up in a cup, would you A, drink their vomit, B, not drink their vomit, C, pay to drink their vomit? Yeah. And it, that's tier one, two, and three. Yeah. I wouldn't pay, but I would I would probably drink his vomit. And I would pay. I don't even think I would be like, ooh, I think I'd be like, oh. Well, yeah, it's like, got makes, it. Like, I, again, like I was saying, like, to absorb what it came from him. Yeah. Powerful stuff. Yeah. Wow. Guess what? He performs at every single show without fail. What makes you beautiful? Yeah. And you know what? The other members of One Direction, Zane, Liam, are disgracing the band and trying to distance themselves from the band. But Harry, the one who has come the furthest, is still proud of where he came from. That's what I liked about Miley Cyrus when I saw her in concert, which that's one of the best concerts I've ever seen. In yeah, my life. she's amazing. Talk about rock star. Uh huh. Man. Like, oh my yeah, God. she's it incredible. Like someone had lit me up. She's incredible, and uh, she sang all of her old Hannah Montana stuff, and I was like, yeah, "That's pretty cool." Yeah, I think she resents that. She part went of her through life. a phase where she would not speak about it or sing about anything, yeah. and she completely one eighty and was like, "Actually, that's a big part of me. it." Was cool. It was yeah. really cool. Anyway, yeah. go ahead. So that's <clears throat> just like uh, that. Just like moves me to tears every single time, right. especially because you know the other members of One Direction wouldn't do that, and they just like don't hold a candle to him. There is such a difference between the Harry Styles that does press for Don't Worry Darling 
in the Harry Styles that I saw on stage that night. Two different people. Yeah. He is in his element on that stage. That's who he is. Mm-hmm. You know? And that's who we need to, that's what we need to remember him by. Not this, the don't worry darling drama, that's the distraction. I'm not feeding into that anymore. I don't want to pay attention to it. That's not the Harry that we're supposed to know. This is him. This is his authentic self. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. That's just I'm a note. happy for him. He's found his, and his then little niche. My last note was job. everyone was DMing me and was like, we're so proud of you for going to a concert. And I was like, do I really come across like that? depressed that it's like i need a pat on the back for going to harry styles concert i I wasn't aware of that yeah i'm asking you not as far as i know okay well i was getting going to a going to a concert especially a big one like this is a like i said it's exhausting to do that yeah no i don't think that i was getting a lot of pats on the back well i think because you did talk about yeah i think you did talk about the dtf yeah that was yeah i mean i appreciate them that goes without saying but it always does make you think, wow, how am I coming across, you know? As someone who but, announced that you really are pushing yourself to go yeah, outside once a yeah, day. Like, yeah, and you know what? Totally. Now that I'm thinking about it. Totally. You, you did actually just paint yeah. that picture for them. Yeah, I did. So but you went to the show. Yeah. And that's outside. So thank you guys for telling me you're proud of me. Mm-hmm. And that is make, just ca- making me think, uh, you know, about myself. Well, it's clearly worth it. I see a lot of, that's a big note page. Yeah. I wrote those all down when I woke up the next morning. Wow. To share with you. I'm needing to do that in the moment. Yeah. Um, well, great. I'm so happy that that ended up. Thank you for listening to playing that. Playing out, of course. Yeah. Um, I had something. To, ooh, ooh, sorry to make that noise on the on the thing. Um, I just wanted to say. Yeah. I'm done with Harry Styles. For That's fine. This this the rest of the pod. Okay. I can be I, you. Let no, no, me talk no. I, about I had for... I had no other follow up. Is what I'm saying. Okay. So it's just going to be like a messy transition into whatever we okay. talk about next. I have a few things. Oh, go ahead, if take you... it. Um. Okay. I'm so two, sorry. Two, can can I pee? pee? Yes, con, go piss, girl. <laughs> that's actually what I was gonna say. Oh, okay. And then I was like, no, I, that's why I kept looking at the clock. So I was like, no, I can hold it. I'm sorry, guys. I really have to pee. Go ahead. Okay. Hey guys, I'm back. I didn't smell a gas leak. Just kind of a pain. In the traditional sense. Well, we're happy to have you back. Thanks. Thank you, I'm excited Connor. to be back. I can, if anyone saw me kind of squirming like Heidi, Heidi Klum, Klum, it's because I was about to. Who, by the way, I respect. Loving. I love all, I su- love all worms. All worms. worms. And yes, all worms. Yes. All worms mm-hmm. have a place here. Yes. 100%. This is a space. Worm safe. That is. That being safe. said, if you did, if you brought a worm. For a worm. Into this dude. That, w- that I- would have to be your co-host for the day as I would. I don't like worms either if they're like a Wait. parasitic type yeah. worm. Um, remember when I found that worm in my dishwasher? Oh, wormy. I like those kinds of worms. I love well, these worms. this fucking scary fraud ass. He came. Wormy? When I. F- yep. When I found this worm, okay, backing up, because I know that we have a lot of international guests that definitely do not follow me on TikTok because I haven't gained a follower in about six years. For the international guests, about a about a year and a half ago. Why does them being international mean they can't? Because I've looked at about ninety eight percent of my followers are from New York City oh. or Jersey, <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I think we're, I'm missing a big chunk of New Zealanders that listen to the podcast. So get on your phones, um, please. It's my job. Um, I find so I open my dishwasher to take the dishes out. They've run through the cycle, and in there, in the dishwasher, on a fork, if you will, is the tiniest little caterpillar. It was so cute, lime green, about about yay big. I'm gonna like this big, about an inch. Mm-hmm. For for my New Zealanders that are all gonna go follow me on TikTok, he was about whatever an inch to what in centimeters would be. Yeah, and um, I get him out and I say. Are you okay? Check his vitals. He's <laughs> yeah. good. He's yeah. fine. He's he's in stable condition. Um, I have a little jar, and for my knickknacks, and I put him in there with a stick and some kale, and I say, "What am I gonna do with you?" Uh huh. Now what? My hands are tied here. I gotta make sure he's okay for the next couple of days. I I call Brooke immediately. I'm like, "I got I I, I got this worm <laughs> now on my hands," and I like, I don't know if I'm I don't know if I should keep. It. And she's like, "Listen, keep him." We keep an eye on him yeah. for the next couple of days. He was naturally, gorgeous. naturally, we start to 
kind of build this relationship mm -hmm. over the course of the next couple of days. Um, and like one thing led to another and now it's me and Wormy against yeah. the world. And so I have Wormy and suddenly Wormy starts to get <laughs> kind of lethargic. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, can I do, C can you do CPR uh -huh. to Wormy? If you make your lips very small, you could maybe, and I can cause I'm right. as white as they come. Mm -hmm. And I go to, I'm like, okay, I think he might be on his way out. I right. put him, I put him at the window and I leave the lid open in case he just wants to get some fresh air for the right. day where he starts to build a chrysalis yes. Is it, that's what, yes she did she or he depending mm -hmm. on and uh sh th they started to spin kind of in this circle yeah. and build out a cocoon yeah is it a chrysalis or a cocoon i forget there is a difference uh, i'm gonna go with um Cocoon. Cocoon. Mm -hmm. Just sounds a little... Because of what came out was not a butterfly. I think <laughs> butterfly is for chrysalis. Okay, so basically... Uh, or the exact this opposite. This is the worst thing in the yeah. world. So I'm like, oh, Wormy is Pokemoning. On, uh -huh. Right in front of my eyes. Evolving. Po evolving. Yeah. There's a science word for that. They started to become something completely <laughs> different in front of my eyes. And I look it up. Wormy ended up in the trash can that day, in the jar, lit on. Can you paint a picture of what? Just the most freaking t scariest thing I've ever seen straight up out of like a horror movie. And the fact that I had this beast living in my house, this creature of the night, literally like birthed from Satan's cooch. <laughs> I was like, you're not living another day. Not an, not if I have anything to say about it. Sorry if that changes anyone's view of me. So you're publicly admitting to killing Wormy. I had to kill Wormy. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my God. No. 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 I can't even look at what Wormy became. <laughs> no. I can't. Ugh. Oh it God. was really tough to look at. It's tough to look I at. I would have thrown him out the window as opposed to the trash can. He, you didn't even no. want to set her free on. No. It was for me. It was like I'm doing a public world. service uh -huh. by taking Wormy and and out of this world. I, taking my my only son and and sacrificing him. Wow. That's the, a like Bible vibes. Oh yeah, that's yeah. John three sixteen yeah. type situation. Yeah. But I had to make that executive decision. I felt called upon to end his life in mm -hmm. that moment, so I did just that, <laughs> and he was out, out of my house. It was such a horrible experience. It like I almost didn't feel safe. Like, who have I had in my home all of this time? Like, I feel like I didn't even know this person. I really opened up to this person. I built a relationship with this person, and then just like that, this is. Not the person I knew. It's like when you find out your dad has a second family. You were catfished. Yeah. Your who eye. are you? Yeah. Wow. Well, Anyways, yeah. I wormy. bet the ghost in your house is worm is the ghost of Wormy. <sighs> Don't even say that. It's pro. It's true. Man. Karma is my boyfriend. And he is a worm. Yeah. Paris. Wow. Worm. Damn, I forgot about Wormy. The biggest part of that story is that I found Wormy in the dishwasher after it was run. <laughs> so like, obviously, this is a creature from hell. Right. How do you survive? Right, you should have known from the beginning. Oh, I have chills down my spine yeah. still. Yeah. Oh, Damn. God. Wormy. Oh, my God. Yeah. See you, Wormy. In hell. Wow. Honestly, weird that we didn't think of Wormy with Heidi Klum. No connection. <laughs> no connection whatsoever. The, the worm that Heidi Klum became. How did we get? Oh, we were just talking. How did we get on the topic of Wormy? Was it the worms? Was it Heidi Klum? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Okay. I have a subject change if that's okay with yeah, you. Yeah, take it. Take the reins. Baby. I saw this article on E. So it was on E, so you know this is fact. Fact. Um of these celebrities whose names we've apparently been mispronouncing for their whole careers. Okay. And these have shocked me to my core. Give me one. We've been pronouncing Adele wrong. Uh, can I guess what the actual yeah, pronunciation I, is? Yeah, please. Adel? No, <laughs> it's Adele. What? Adele. During Q&A in October 2022, no, the not. powerhouse singer praised a fan for perfectly pronouncing her name as Adele when asking a question. It's not Adele. It's Adele. <laughs> no, it's not. I am telling you, hand to God, it's on E! News. All right. Now, no. this one, I can confirm via... I'm not going to look. This is Lindsay Lohan. And I can confirm 
that we've been pronouncing her name wrong because I went to her TikTok where she says how to pronounce it correctly. Lindsay it's Lo- not Lindsay Lohan. Lowen. Yes, it's Lowen. Lindsay Lowen. That one's easier to understand. Okay, that that I did not know. Taylor Lautner. Wrong. Okay, Lautner. No, what'd you? Taylor you Lautner. No, there's still a T in it. It's Lautner. Taylor Lautner. Okay. Alicia Silverstone. Who is that? Clueless, Sharon Clueless. I've never seen you. That. Can someone hurt this bitch? Sorry, this woman. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry, I don't know where that this came bitch. from. I don't know where that um, came from. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's the girl in the, like the main girl. Alicia. Oh, that's stupid. That's when you know you, that when you're, when you're making this list, it means you have so much money and they've got no more news. Okay, Justin Thoreau. You know who that is, right? Yeah, the Canadian Prime Minister. No, no, no. I get confused too. That's Justin Trudeau. Oh. Justin Thoreau is who is with Jennifer Aniston. This man. Never seen this Re- in my You're life. You're kidding. No. Whoa. He's in some good stuff. Okay, what's his name? Justine? Justine? No, it's still Justin oh. Thoreau. Anyway. <laughs> oh, get this. No, this one's going to blow your panties off. Ariana Grande. No, it's not Grande. Grand? No. <laughs> Grandy. Fuck you. Are I'm you dead serious. No, it's not. The pop star dropped Jaws in 2018 after she explained the correct way to say her last name. When speaking about her engagement to Pete Davidson at the time, Ariana discussed whether or not she'd take his last name. That's when she blurted out Grandy when pronouncing her own last she name. She was on Quaaludes at that time. Do you time. think Quaaludes? Yeah, what is a Quaalude? That's like an old pill. Like from the olden days. So it has more potency. That's probably what made her pronounce her name like that. That's absurd. Chrissy Teigen? Not I don't even name. care. Tigan. Okay. You don't care? No. Don't I don't need Gal Gadot. Chrissy Teigen news. Um, Gal got it. Ga- I got it. I guess it is Gal. But the last name? It's Gal Gadot. As opposed to what did we Godot? say? Gadot? I said Gadot. Oh. But it's Godot. Godot. Last one. Are you ready? Cool, that one's like This pretty... one's not going to affect you. Okay. Amanda Seyfried? Seyfried. Seyfried. Yeah. Were you saying Seyfried the yeah. whole time? Oh, I was saying Seyfried. Anyway. Okay. Cool. That's super cool. And I believe all of those to be the case. Seyf- Seyfried. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, You've I been guess saying Seyfried? So- yeah, I think so. I would say yeah. Oh, I've been saying Seyfried. But I just was kind of floored by it. Adele. Adele. Um, okay, well, that's fun. Yeah. That was fun. Um, I think another piece of fun news that we could talk about, because it affects both of us. What? I don't think it affects... I don't think anyone's really going to care, to be honest, most people, but Elon Musk is going to start charging for the blue verification oh, check on Twitter. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts about that? Are I'm we just, Are we sure? I'm just... I'm, Did he come out and say that with his own mouth? Look at his Twitter right now. Ugh. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of uh, giving Mr. Krabs. Damn. He's going to start charging for breathing, lollygagging, napkins, e- ice cubes. Elon. Um, the bird is free. My favorite thing, I tweeted this last night. Don't cancel me because I deleted it because I got scared because I was going to bed and I didn't have time to defend myself in case I was going to get canceled. But he tweeted, uh, power to the people. The blue check mark will now be eight dollars a month. Oh my he's, god! He's tired of the. He's tired of the. Oh, here it is. Twitter's current lords and peasant system for who has or who doesn't have a check mark is bullshit. Power to the people. Blue check for eight dollars a month. So from this a his, baby picture of him is scaring the shit out of yeah, me. Yeah, from a historically lords and peasants style individual and and platform. He's now giving power to the people by charging them money to be verified. I'm just confused. This one actually blew my mind so much because it, I don't understand. There's so much irony, but at the same time, like I'm not able to pinpoint it. it uh, there's so much going on. I don't mm-hmm. know what his argument is. How is that power to the people? But I basically said like, I think he's charging because maybe he he said in one of the tweets that I just saw that he's using that money to pay creators, which I doubt. I don't know. 
I feel like we should put him in charge of healthcare in the United States because I feel like he'll oh. fuck it up so much that something will cancel out and it'll actually end up better. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting point. So are you going to pay for your blue check? No. Yeah, that's... Or maybe I will because it'll might. be funny. <laughs> I kind of no, might. But it, it's, it loses but all that being said, credibility. Then can anybody pay eight dollars? Yeah, for power to the check? people. Oh, okay. So then I won't. And he said complainers can complain, keep complaining. It's going to be eight dollars a month. So he like confirmed it's going to happen. It's so losery. Yeah. Uh, 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 so uh, like uh, the like friends from high school can just be like, oh yeah, like I got a blue check. We're yeah, we're blue checkers now. I'm just I'm I won't be moving forward with paying. Well, also, who okay. has eight dollars a month to do that? Right. I wonder what Twitter. That's more than Spotify. I wonder what Twitter's revenue stream is, where he's like, "I'm gonna." It must not be. I wish we could all collectively, as a as a society, not do it and Can, have him not. I wonder if I know anyone that works in finance that could explain this to us, because I bet that there's some decisions. I, mean, I bet that were Ben made. could. Yeah. Ben Con. Oh, you know what? I bet they'll do an episode of Trill about. We that. don't want to take their content. Yeah, we would but never want to do that. Let's guess. Guess what? Why would he feel the need to take away blue check marks from people with credibility, which is like the most important part of Twitter? Because without the blue check, like we could change our name to Justin Trudeau, right. Prime Minister of Canada. Right. Like, Canadians are now like maple syrup is illegal. Right. Yeah. And they would have that like that would that would be like yelling fire in a right in a movie. Theater right. Right. For them. I don't I don't get it. I can't think of anything. I wonder what Hank Green is saying, because he Let's get Hank on the phone. We got Hank on the line. He kind of knows what's going on. Um, yeah, I think it's weird, and I think eight dollars, like probably these, you have to trust at this point. We kind of do have to trust him because he does own the network now. But I like Twitter is the people's town square, right? So now we have this person that came in and who's very against the lords and peasant system, who has now purchased the town square. <laughs> to make it a more free 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 space but i am excited because i won't be kicked off the platform for seven days for tweeting stuff uh-huh which is gonna be fun but also that's how i knew that a joke was really good if i'm booted from the platform hank deleted him. he should buy airbnb too so i can get back on airbnb uh-huh damn which by the way that brings up a fun point have you noticed lately all the people dying their eyebrows bleaching their eyebrows yeah i have and putting makeup over their eyebrows yeah Take a look at my eyebrows, Brooke. I have seen them. It's a, it comes up. My eyebrows do come up every now and then. Do I have a thyroid problem? You were born Maybe, that way. Maybe, but I was born this way. You could be born with a thyroid problem. I guess. No doctor has ever said anything. But I just want to say, about almost a year ago, I said, when someone said, are your eyebrows falling out? Like I said earlier, I said, no, and I don't shave them. But I don't shave almost anything because I just don't grow hair. Right. Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, um, <laughs> um, yes. No, Thyroid. I don't shave my eyebrows. But I said to everyone, I said, "Hey, just a heads up. What you're going to start seeing is whenever when all all the girls and guys and whatever had these big thick eyebrows because that was a trend for a long time. Uh -huh. I'm just I I told them guys, heads up, start trimming your trees because. I think that eyebrow trends follow the same market as the house. Follow the, eyebrow trends follow the same trends as the housing market, and we're due for a correction in the housing market. So just keep an eye on that. And we are quickly approaching a correction in the housing market, potentially a crash. I know a lot of politicians and finance people are saying that we are actually in the midst of a depression. Okay. And just like clockwork, people have started to bleach their eyebrows, shave their eyebrows. We got Good Kim Kardashian. Out. We got several people other than them. Mm -hmm. And we're watching the housing market decline rapidly. So that was, that is just yeah. all I wanted to say. And, and I did what? call that a year ago. Speaking of trend setting, as you did with your eyebrows, have you noticed that everybody's knitting? I did, actually. Jack Harlow on SNL. That was one of his shots. One of his promo pictures, knitting. Skim's new campaign. Mm -hmm. They're all knitting. Yeah, if you trace back. It, you can trace the root paper back directly to Knitting Club. Mm -hmm. And even before that, Sally Dar, who's my favorite influencer. Yeah. So it's really... It is something. I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Toot toot. Toot toot. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, my hat's off to you. I watched yeah. it happen. Yeah. And it is crazy because it's knitting after all. Yeah, it's the, the most 
sophisticated craft that there is. Yeah. Really, if yeah. I had to think of a word for it. <sighs> All right. Cool. You want to... Oh yeah! Can, oh yeah! You... I want to. Um, okay, sorry. I just kind of got lost in your eyes for a second. Ooh. Um, it was scary. <laughs> I was like, "Where oh, am bad I?" Bad loss? No, not necessarily bad. I've just never been there before. Mm. It was like when your mom is checking out of the grocery store and you can't find her. Um, so we had we decided that we want to start watching like a show with everyone who wants to get involved mm-hmm. to kind of feel like you're a part of something. I can't read books. Right. Obviously we've made that pretty clear, but we can watch shows. We can watch shows. That is something. There's we one thing do. about us is that we can, we can watch. We shows. know how to watch a show. Even if we have to watch the same episode twice because we were on our phones. Right. Or maybe several seasons of new girl several times because we were on our phone. Yep. You got to start over. And it matched up perfectly with, with white Lotus season two being released yesterday. Uh, no, uh-uh. Sunday for the first time. And so we're going to watch White Lotus as a group, whoever wants to be involved. I'm sure people are already doing it. But we'll be chatting about and breaking down and just poking holes in the fucking plot line like wild porcupines on a yeah. poking holes mission. I am kind of curious how we're going to do that because there's not a lot of plot there. That's a great plot hole, Brooke. Yeah. I have a lot to say personally. Okay, great. And, and I'm what excited. And we're going to do, you know, because all I do the whole time, I'm just like poke, 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 poke. Yeah. I got a needle in a haystack. Yeah. I mean, balloon shop. I don't know. And I'm poking holes and everything. So, you know, bowl in a china shop, porcupine uh-huh. in a in a font bounce house vibe. So um, we'll be doing that in the bonus episode, which yes. if you haven't signed up for bonus, you can do that um, at tmgstudios.tv and it's Brooke and Connor tier or you can sign up for the whole thing. No ads and, and shit. And we also do a bunch of, we, we release a bunch of other stuff. Mm-hmm. And also- I'm going to try to finish my sweater. And she's going to finish her sweater. Um, she, when I say she, I mean Brooke here, that lady, just in case <laughs> you weren't aware. And then, um, also any other housekeeping yeah. stuff, the close uh, friends Instagram story is live to get access to that. You do have to sign up for the Brooke and Connor tier at TMG studios.tv. Mm-hmm. And, uh, that's that, like, I really that's all I have. It. That's it. Cause, uh, do you have to piss? Yeah. I got to piss. I do too. Oh shit. Okay. Sorry. That was gross of us to both say piss and then me say shit right after. That's fine. I said I've something gotta, really gross earlier. Huh. I don't remember. Why do they call it a bathroom? Because you could take a bath in it. Not this one. This is just yeah. Toilet. It's actually technically a powder room. Because that's where you would powder your nose, or do cocaine. Anyway, smooches. A little early for talk like that. I don't do drugs. <laughs> I knit. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> On cocaine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye guys. Bye. This week on Close Friends. I have a 401k at this point, and I'm shitting my pants. Yeah. Like, sober. I want to show you the... No, it's a dog. What the dog doing? It's a bug's life. This guy's going to step on me. The liberal agenda. (laughs) Yeah. Cool, huh? That was a joke, and someone else wrote it. Sign up on TMGstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.